Did you know 1 in 28 female patients in our country have a chance of developing breast cancer in their lifetime? Breast cancer is the most commonest cancer in our country and more than 50% of the female patients diagnosed of breast cancer do not survive because of the disease. It is mainly because of lack of awareness of what exactly is a breast self-examination. A lot of female patients come to us at a very late stage. So this October month of every year is termed as Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Avinash Anand, Cancer Surgeon at Victor Cancer Care. So today I'll be educating you all about what exactly is breast self-examination and how exactly it has to be performed. Let's look at this. So let's take this as a breast. Uh, so what every female patient is supposed to do is you need to go stand in front of the mirror, expose both of your breasts with adequate light. Just stand for one minute in front of the mirror, observe the size, shape, of both the breasts. See one breast is bigger than the other. Look for any small structural changes over the skin. Look for any dimpling. Look for any thickening of the skin. Sometimes the skin of the breast can appear like a peel of an orange which itself can be a sign of a breast cancer. So observation is the first important step in every breast self-examination. Spend one or two minutes. Once you're done with it, use three fingers of your right hand. Divide the breast into five different quadrants. So what you can do is, suppose if this is a breast, this is a nipple and this is the areola, make it into five quadrants. This is the right upper inner quadrant, right outer quadrant, right lower outer, right lower inner quadrant and the central quadrant is the nipple and the areola. So use three fingers, use the pad of the finger, not the tip of the fingers. A lot of times when you use the tip, you miss small swellings. So use your pad of the fingers and apply the fingers, just apply different pressures. Your pressure application is very important. You have to vary your pressure. It can be mild, moderate or a very high pressure. It is mainly to fill every tissue of your breast. So gently try to move your fingers in a circular motion. So spend one minute for every quadrant. Press at different pressures and then look for any suspicious lumps, look for any pain while pressing the breast. Sometimes when you press you can feel, you can see one or two drops of discharge coming through the nipple. That can be a sign of breast cancer. Once you are done with this, go to the other quadrant. Move in a clockwise direction. Finish your right quadrant, the left side, go down, finish the lower outer and come to the lower inner quadrant. Once you are done with this, then go to the central quadrant that is the nipple and the areola. This is a very important quadrant because sometimes the a lump can be present just below the nipple, a very small lump which a lot of patients miss during examination. Put your fingers behind the nipple, squeeze the nipple, look for any discharge. Look for any rashes surrounding the nipple areolar area because rashes is also one of the manifestation of a breast cancer. So this completes your examination of the breast. Last but not the least, the other most important area in breast self-examination is your underarm. So the armpit is one of the area of metastasis of the breast cancer. So once you are done with this, raise your arm, put your fingers in your armpit, look for any small swellings or any pain in the armpit area because that can be a lymph node. A lot of times I've seen patients wherein they do not have any lumps in the breast but they come to us with the metastasis in the armpit. So these are the most important technique for breast self-examination. Do this every month, once a month, every uh, particular day, the same date every month and any find, if you find any answer, suspicious lumps or any signs of breast cancer, do consult your oncologist because this can prevent a major spread of the disease. Thank you so much.